Hey guys, I'm Parker Doman, the Longhorn Engineer, and today we're going to talk about optical sensors and more importantly, how to interface an optical sensor for your microcontroller. We're going to use the GP2A200LCS0F, which is also, you can find it on DigiKey with this part number, 425-2042-ND. Now this is a really nice optical sensor. Uh, it has a range from 2 millimeters to 22 millimeters. So the optical sensor unit that we're going to be using is a self-contained unit. It has an emitting LED that emits infrared waves, and then it has a collector LED that receives infrared waves and detects if they're there or not. It's basically a piece of plastic with one LED that's just emitting the infrared waves, and then another LED that's just uh, detecting if these infrared waves are coming into its LED. Then it also outputs a signal. When nothing's over the optical sensor, it's passing a plus 5 volts, or a 1 if you're talking digital. Now, let's say an object goes over it, like a pinball. So, this LED that's emitting the infrared waves uh, hits the pinball, then it gets reflected down or bounces off into this LED that's detecting the infrared waves. So this 5 volt signal drops down to 0 volts. And once the pinball passes, the signal goes back up to 5 volts. This waveform would be very easy for a microcontroller to pick up. The 5 volts would basically be a 1, 0 will be a 0 in terms of, of uh, digital logic. To hook up the optical sensor to your microcontroller, first you should just look at the data sheet for the optical sensor and look at its pinout. The pinout is very simple. It's got three pins on it. One is just ground. Then it has a plus 5 volt, which is its power source. And then it has V out. A V out is your sensing line. So you're going to hook this guy up to 5 volts, this guy to ground on your board. Now V out needs to be tied to plus 5 volts with a 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now, this guy will come over, and let's say your microcontroller is right here, and you have a pin that you're going to hook it up to so you can actually sense it. Now, because this is at a 5 volt level, most microcontrollers run at a 3.3 volt level. Again, check your data sheets for your microcontroller. So, to prevent current from flowing all the way through and ruining your microcontroller, you probably going to want to put a low resistance uh, resistor here to protect your microcontroller about 220 to 100 ohms usually works pretty well so here's the optical sensor I wired it up to an LED so the LED will be on when there's no object and then it will be turned off when there is an object um, I rigged it up like this instead of hooking up to a microcontroller so it's easier to demonstrate what it looks like or how it works. So uh, plus 5 volts will go right there on the plus 5 volt line. And then ground will go right there. And then for an object, we'll use a pinball. So turn on the power supply. Now, I don't know if you all can see the LED being lit up, now, so I'll turn off the uh, lights. So you can make out that the LED is on. So, the, so let's say the ball comes near it, turns it off.
It works pretty well.